Okay, so here is an application I developed for one of our plants to monitor freezer data. Here's the windows form. I've got the inlet temp, outlet temp, control values, belt speeds, blower speeds of the three freezers that are running Allen Bradley PLCs. Um, here's just some of the coding that had to go along with the Visual Basic in order to make everything here work. The SQL commands. Uh, this was probably the most uh, ambitious program that I've written so far. Uh, everything has been writing programs just to put data into SQL. And I've been using other means of getting the data out, but I wanted to have something here that others could access and easily view some of these charts. Okay, so here's the program running. Disable polling because I'm not on our network at work. So I'm not going to pull up any data anyways. I made options on here, settings, change the write frequency. It brings up the dialog box. Um, my three different charts for the different freezers. Actually more than three different charts, but all the, all the data comes in this way. I've got... Uh, Default brings up my number one freezer, the lower limit, upper limit, the increments. As I change, you notice the lower limit changes. Um, everything defaults to the values of approximately where that data is going to be anyways. So um, control output, we're going to choose our date here. noon refresh there's all the data I want to squeeze that in a little bit more I can do it that way if I look at my in feed temperatures there can be quite a large swing on those as there are on uh, the out feed temperature if I want to get a little bit closer view of that I can come in let's probably go negative 230. Give it some more tick marks here. Now what this allows the guys to do, they can pull this up. They can see any, if they happen to see any anomalies for a certain time, um, you know, it helps them dig into the data a little bit further. And that was all written in Visual Basic. Visual Studio.